When you're thinking of traveling to Chicago, some of the first things that come to mind would be the Willis Star, Navy Pier, the Bean, and maybe Millennium Park. These are some of the must-see tourist attractions of Chicago, and I've shown you my wonderful experiences at these places in another video, which also happens to be my very first travel video on YouTube. So, part of the bad editing. In this follow-up video, I'm planning to show you some of the lesser-known attractions of Chicago, which I explored in and around the city on a lazy spring weekend. I'll also be delving into some of Chicago's must-try foods and sharing a scenic route to drive by. After braving the horrendous traffic from the O'Hare Airport, my first stop was at the Chicago Cultural Center to see the world's largest Tiffany glass dome. The showstopper dome rests on pillars and walls made out of luxurious Italian marble with ornate carvings. I know it had been just one stop on my trip, but all this oogling had definitely made me hungry. My restless feet, or should I say my appetite, automatically took me to Portillo's where I encountered Chicago's most loved Chicago dog. This classic Chicago eat is a gastronomical combo of pickles, relish, tomatoes, mustard, onions, hugging a warm hot dog in a steamed poppy seed bun. But if that doesn't do it for you, Try the chili dog, another spicy variant of the Chicago hot dog. My husband had devoured most of the hot dog before I could fill him any more. But let me tempt you with this, the chocolate cake shake. My sweet tooth couldn't resist the deliciously creamy and chocolatey texture of Portillo's chocolate cake shake, which I think is totally worth the calories. Two things you're in for when you're visiting Chicago is the ridiculous traffic and the hazy fog that rolls into the city from across Lake Michigan. I enjoyed a morning ride out of the city surrounded by buildings covered in haze all the way to the northern part where a spiritual symbol beckoned me. I was tipped off by a local about the Baha'i Temple. The Baha'i Temple of Chicago has a beautiful white marble dome. Owned by those of the Baha'i sect, this house of worship is amongst many others in the world that are designed in this traditional style. Check out my video on the Baha'i Temple in the link below to know more about it. When traveling up north to the Baha'i Temple, take the North Lakeshore Drive. You'll be rewarded with beautiful views of Lake Michigan along with many famous universities and pretty homes. That spring weekend, the bloom of life took me out into Chicago Botanic Garden. The Japanese garden was my favorite from among the different types of garden styles that were out there. However, it was a huge campus and my feet quickly gave way. I recommend this place if you're traveling with kids or enjoy botany. All that walking brought me to the doors of Giordano's, where I loaded up on enough deep dish pizza to last me for a week. This place had a two hour wait, but I found that it was totally worth it. The last stop of my Chicago trip was the Art Institute of Chicago. So, not being much of an art lover, I was a bit clueless on many of the pieces that deck the walls. 
But the ones that stood out were this one, this one, and this one. Somewhere in my mind's eye, I had glimpsed across these famous paintings, which I'm sure would thrill any lover of art. Institute of Chicago is a worthy stop for anyone who comes to the city. Even though you're like me and don't know much about art, but just want to Instagram these lines. Chicago is a city with a distinct character which you can sense from just visiting a few times. The architectural capital of the US comes alive especially at night when the skyline lights up giving the best views of the city. Hope you enjoyed this vlog and don't forget to check out my other video on the main Chicago attractions. I hope this video will help you to plan your Chicago trips much better. Please do subscribe to Travel and Trots and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you and have a great day.